Hello folks and welcome. MX Plasma Desktop video for today is going to be about system information and tools that you can view system information. Um, a lot of people like graphical and some people like terminal centric type of commands or tools. I'm going to talk about both today. And this is especially useful if someone is trying to learn terminal commands. But I will approach it from two angles. A lot of people uh, like graphical ways of looking at system information and some people like both. And some people are more terminal centric. In other words, they like to use terminal for a lot of things. I'm the type of person that does all three. Okay, so in this particular screen, you'll see the command NeoFetch with all the particulars of MX information. You can see the DE, which is desktop, is plasma. And this is the latest version of MX as of May 8th, 2023. Today I'm filming in 1920 by 1080 through this entire video from the native screen resolution of MX using the NeoFetch command. NeoFetch it will give you like a logo of the distribution. This is exactly like the MX logo in the, in the lower left hand corner. In either case, folks, welcome. Today's video again is in 1920 by 1080. None of my videos on my new YouTube channel are less than two minutes, but they all contain chapters and timelines. And I do encourage that you subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, I have lots of material for you. So I'm going to be showing you uh, terminal commands sort of toward the end, but I'm going to first start making mention of the stuff that's already built into your system. And then we're just going to go forward from that. And I'll talk about some of the stuff you can install with your MX package installer. So I'm going to use Alt F4 to close this box. And then I'm going to go to the MX menu. And I know it may look kind of small on some folks screen, but more importantly, I'm going to use the search feature system. So um, let's try another S in there. So if I use the word system, I have lots of choices. I have system information and uh, what's built in is what I'm talking about. So I'm skipping over that second one because that's something you have to install. System information, quick system info, and then uh, key sysguard. So I'm going to talk about those first, and then I'll talk about the stuff you can install through MX package installer. So I'm going to open up system information first, and you can get a wealth of info here, starting with the basic um, screen of system information, memory, energy, and all kinds of other subcategories. Okay, it's quite extensive actually. All right. So I'm going to close this one down and then go back to my MX menu and pick the next one. So I'm going to do quick system information. Now I'm also going to show this very similar thing in terminal a little bit later. And uh, I'll be using an INXI command to get just about most of this kind of stuff. Okay. But there's a wealth of information here also under quick system information. And you can also save that and also copy that. Just wanted to point that out to you. There's a wealth of information, including the repos, repositories. Where's the software coming from? All right. I'm going to use Alt F4 to close this box. I can use the X in the corner, but I'm just being a little lazy. One more. System. So um, under that, I'm going to use, um, where's that one at? Here. A K sysguard. That's what this looks like. And it is system monitor. So you've got some information here. You can also resize these things. All right. So you've got a lot of info here. You can also view this and do different things with uh, configurations in here. Okay. So system load, that kind of stuff. All right. So that was again. sysguard and it comes up as the um, system monitor here all right this time I'm just going to use the X in the corner I can also use alt F4 but more importantly I'm just going to close that so let me talk about some stuff you can install through your uh, MX package installer so I'll open that put in my username and put it down for a second so let me talk about a couple of things that you can install for graphical kind of information I'm going to do Stacer first, not in any particular order, but more importantly, Stacer. 
So you can look for the word Stacer and mine is installed. So what's Stacer look like? So Stacer, I'm gonna open. And uh, actually what I'm gonna do is just minimize the MX package installer so I just have this up on the screen. And you can resize these too. CPU, memory, disk, and all kinds of stuff in here. Categories are clickable. And just be careful what you turn on and off. There's lots of information here also. This is Stacer. All right, Alt F4 and quit. It's just giving me a confirmation. So another package that you can install, um, and I'll just click in here so you can see that it's not found immediately, is uh, Tard Info. I've shown this on my previous channel many times, and I'm showing this again on this one. It's normally not found in the popular, but it is found in the enabled repos. So hard info. I have that installed also. So hard info you can find using two keywords. H-A-R-D. It comes up as system profiler and benchmark. Or you can use S-Y-S. And it starts guessing at anything. It starts with S-Y-S, system profiler and benchmark. Now I'll open this up and uh, I'll just maximize the screen. So I have a summary of stuff. I have the operating system, CPU, RAM, motherboard, graphics, even my printer and it's got lots of categories including benchmark stuff on down at the bottom this again is made by hard info some distributions actually install this when you are doing the initial installation of the distribution but you can install hard info on mx plasma and get some additional information so again one more time this is made by hard info you can just search that in your MX package installer. But it comes up as system profiler and benchmark in your menu, just as an FYI. Alt F4 to close. So let's move on to terminal centric kind of things. There's lots of tools here also for you folks that are learning terminal or just wanting some extra tips. Now the one that's currently built into every Linux distro is top. I don't think I found a distribution that doesn't have this command built in. And top is a process monitor. I will make the text a slightly larger if you like. Uh, anyways, uh, you have to hit Q. Um, there's also many ways to stop this. You can, of course, hit the X in the corner, but I'm just going to hit Q for, for stop. All right. There's another one, too, that's installed with MX and some distributions not installed. And that is HTOP. And that one has a little bit, I say, more bells and whistles. That's HTOP, another Q. So I have top and HTOP. HTOP you can actually find in the menu here. So even if I close this, I'm going to do a search for HTOP. And there, you can, that's close enough, three letters. HTOP can be launched here also without opening up terminal. And it launches the terminal and the actual application HTOP. All right, so I'm going to hit Q on that one. Now, I'm going to talk about a couple more that you can install through here. All right, so um, a top is one of them. It's a derivative of one of those tops. So you have top and H top, and now you have a top. Not found in popular, but it is found in the enable repos, and I have it installed. So what does that one look like? I'm going to open up terminal because that's you can't find it in the menu. So a top looks like this. And I will uh, make this larger and I'll blow the fonts up just a little bit, make it a little bit larger for you. Okay, so anyways, that's what that one looks like. And then um, I have one more to show you. Uh, let me actually use Alt F4 to close and open up the MX package installer. And we're going to do another search for another application that you can install and it runs only in terminal. It's called Glances. And it's not found in popular, but it is found in enabled. So glances. Okay. Glances looks like this. So that's full screen. I'll make this text a little bit larger if you like. And then I can also resize this, of course. So that's glances in a nutshell. Q quit. So you have lots of choices. You have um, NeoFetch, you have Top, HTOP, 
a top and glances are just some of the examples. There's tons of software out there. Then I'm going to show one more that I used to show quite often on my previous YouTube site. Maybe the text is too small, so I'm going to blow that up a little bit more so you can see it. So INXI is not always found installed on some distributions, but I believe it's installed on MX. INXI space dash big F XC is something I used to use quite a bit. What does that big that dash big F XC do? It strips out personal information. That's all it does. But more importantly, it's a wealth of information. Hopefully that's not too large, but more importantly, this gives me kernel information. It gives me the distro. Now you can see the actual version completely down to the name of the buzzword and what the base packages are. They're coming from Debian Bullseye. Motherboard information, MOBO. There's the model number right there. Here's a little tip for you folks. Let's say you're looking for a new RAM for your computer. Wouldn't it be nice to know what kind of motherboard you have in that console or tower computer before you open the case? Well, there it is. You can also right click and copy that highlighted line and open up a web browser and paste in there that uh, particular uh, model number and then put in the word manual. That way you can find the manual for your motherboard. This is made by MicroStar. More information, here's the CPU. Here's my graphics card with a model number on it and what kind of driver I'm currently running and more importantly also, what kind of screen resolution am I running? Again, 1920 by 1080 and a wealth of other information all the way down the list, all from one simple little command. So for you folks that are still learning terminal, there are still other little tidbits that I can throw out at you. So we all, this is probably the first command most people learn when they're using terminal commands. It's just list my home folders or directories as we call it in Linux. You know, your documents, your music, your pictures, that kind of thing. Uh, the other thing I can do with LS2 is also use the word like PCI for the PCI bus. I'm going to punch off clear. A simple one would be LS USB for my USB stuff. Punch up clear. How about the central processor? CPU. LS CPU. Just giving you a couple of different things. That might be too big. But more importantly, here's my AMD Ryzen 5 processor that I have on currently on this computer. I have lots of computers, but more importantly, it's the one on this one. Just for using simple commands like that. So there's lots of things in there. So I want to do a recap of this. So for your stuff that's built in, you can click your MX icon and look for the KSIS guard, the system monitor, the sys info, the quick sys info, and uh, you can also install uh, Stacer and Hard Info. And for your terminal folks, Top is built in. HTOP is installed by MX. You can also install Glances and ATOP. A is an Apple Top. Thank you for watching.